blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. A pure heart is a single-minded heart. It's your number one aim in life, to know God. So what is a circumcised heart? Circumcision means a cutting away. And circumcised heart is a heart that is willing to cut away even the good but unnecessary things that crown out God. There are some things that are not evil in and of themselves may have an evil influence if they crowd God out of our lives. Scuba diving is not evil. Playing basketball is not evil. Enjoying sports in general isn't morally wrong. Going to amusement parks is not necessarily evil and having fun won't damage us spiritually. But these good things and other normal activities in life will crowd God out of our lives if we let them. We must make time with the Lord our number one priority. There are lots of choices in life and those choices will determine the priorities in our lives. So we must be careful or the business and simple pleasures of life may crowd out our time with the Lord. Let's take a look at this wonderful story. The most beautiful heart. One day a young man was standing in the middle of the town proclaiming that he had the most beautiful heart in the whole valley. A large crowd gathered and they all admired his heart for it was perfect. There was not a mark or a flow in it. Yes, they all agreed it truly was the most beautiful heart they had ever seen. The young man was very proud and boasted more loudly about his beautiful heart. Suddenly, an old man appeared at the front of the crowd and said, Why your heart is not nearly as beautiful as mine? The crowd and the young man looked at the old man's heart. It was beating strongly, but full of scars. It had places where pieces had been removed and other pieces put in, but they didn't fit quite right and there were several jagged edges. In fact, in some places, there were deep gorges where whole pieces were missing. The people stared. How can he say his heart is more beautiful? They thought. The young man looked at the old man's heart and saw its state and laughed. <laughs> you must be joking, he said. Compare your heart with mine. Mine is perfect and yours is a mess of scars and tears. Yes, said the old man. Yours is perfect looking, but I would never trade with you. You see, every scar represents a person to whom I have given my love. <clears throat> I tear out a piece of my heart and give it to them, and often they give me a piece of their heart which fits into the empty place in my heart. But because the pieces aren't exact, I have some rough edges which I cherish because they remind me of the love we shared. Sometimes I have given pieces of my heart away and the other person hasn't returned the piece of his heart to me. These are the empty gorges. Giving love is taking a chance. Although these gorges are painful, they stay open, reminding me of the love I have for these people too. And I hope someday they may return and fill the space I have waiting. So now do you see what true beauty is? The young man stood silently with tears running down his cheeks. He walked up to the old man, reached into his perfect, young, beautiful heart, and ripped a piece out. He offered it to the old man with trembling hands. The old man took his offering, placed it in his heart, and then took a piece from his old, 
scarred heart and placed it in the wound in the young man's heart. It fit, but not perfectly, as there were some jagged edges. The young man looked at his heart, not perfect anymore, but more beautiful than ever, since love from the old man's heart flowed into his. They embraced and walked away side by side. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, you created in me a clean and pure heart. Help me, Lord, to keep this heart pure from any blemish and to only worship you. Thank you.